All right, today we're talking with Jacob Peed of uh, AV Nation Publication, and if you haven't heard of them before, we're going to find out more information right now. Well, AV Nation came out of uh, my last assignment. I've been in publishing for some time um, in the aviation industry, and I actually caught wind of the Lakeland Aero Club, which is where we're housed at Sun and Fun this year. Um, and uh, a friend of mine was actually, and still is, the the, uh, lead, the president of the club, Mike Z, as he's called. <clears throat> and uh, I saw those kids doing, and the young aviators, um, doing doing these really cool things that a lot of adults said, oh, you can't do that with these young people. And, and so I started following them. Um, in the magazine that I was in charge of, I started a section, Youth Aviation. And this is kind of before all the buzzwords are starting to happen in that. Um, so I, you know, I thought it was just a good content piece and <clears throat> what Mike was doing was very, you know, very commendable. So, so we went ahead and put a story together and we started doing that. It was a monthly publication. We started doing that month after month and uh, at one Oshkosh we had published a spread in the magazine and I caught these kids from afar. They're going booth to booth showing their spread off to the different vendors and I, I guess you know maybe trying to get parts and different things but you know what they're trying to they're accomplish their mission at the show um, and I saw the light bulb went off I, I saw I saw these kids empowered by the publicity that they got and and you know and soon after that it's it just kind of snowballed um, there there's I had heard stories that these kids on their way to Oshkosh flying to an FBO and the person at the counter is looking at them because they're on the car going, is this you guys? And so, so the empowerment that publishing can do, um, and on, on, you know, that, that's on the print side, digital is a whole different world, but there's still a lot of power to that. And I saw being able to empower these, these young people by that method, but also to <clears throat> give notoriety to their organization because there's a lot of this stuff all over the country going on. But, but people don't, it's no, just, it, it's the publicity side lacks. And you know, that, that's because that's mostly volunteer groups. Um, so, so it's, you know, it's something that I saw right away that, hey, I can help with this. Because that, that then, you know, that, that published piece becomes a procurement tool, whether it's locally or at a major air show where you can go, hey, this is what we're doing. We're getting ink, you know, we're, we're doing that. So fast forward about seven years and um, I, I ended my last assignment and went out on my own because Mike Z was one of them that I, I consulted with. He says, there's nothing like this in what we're doing. There needs to be. And, and I learned early on when I was launching that the guy in Florida and the guy in California or anywhere really, are doing very similar things and they are falling into the same traps you know you know all kinds of different stuff that if they just shared a knowledge base it'd be very powerful why not why reinvent the wheel each time absolutely and you know and there, there's just tons of this stuff none of I mean a majority of there's not a, a formal network so to speak and I, I searched for a partner that would have that network and it just didn't exist and, and I you know I, I, I looked really hard for that so so that's kind of, that, that's really the two sides of what brought AV Nation together was there's a whole mentor network like the Lakeland Aero Club, like a Mike Z. There's a whole network of those people doing the same kind of stuff. And, and they're all, you know, there's no egos involved when we're, we're helping Kids. the next generation into to the industry we love. So they're, they're willing to share everything and anything and help each other out. So. So that's really brought a lot of these groups together. It's, it's identified groups to other groups that they didn't know about previously because they read the magazine. Um, but then the other side of that is showcasing young people and their pathways into aviation or what they aspire to do or what they're currently doing and giving them notoriety in there. It's, it's really a peer thing that, that works really well. Um, we get a lot of submissions from young people. Um, and that's what we really want because this magazine needs to be kind of by for the, the generation coming through. Um, we do, like I said, we have a lot of stuff written by by mentor groups, but that's that's usually focused on those on, on that that category. Um, the young people, 
when they're supplying uh, stories, they're just they're wonderful, and it's it's inspirational for me to be the the editor and all that um, to read these things and see what you know. You know, whenever I've heard somebody you know out, out and about, oh these young kids, I just I just just keep my mouth shut because I I see the other side of that, and um, and so you know to me something like AV Nation is necessary, and and I think it's it's helping to organize what's already going on um, and you know we, we've got big plans to do a lot of things with this we want to be behind scholarships we want to do a lot of that stuff but there's so much of it already if we can just be a connector um, I think I think we, we pretty much do what the mission is and that's to get more people in the aviation there's a lot of uh, formalities and regulations and stuff especially working with younger people that kind of forces these organizations to kind of be similar in certain ways. I mean, you know, there's, so there, there's quite a few of these. So you got to kind of jump through some hoops to, to get, to, to start these organizations and do some things. And yes, there, that, that's, that's, that was when I was first starting to call around and try to gather content. I was finding them left and right. And like I said, that, and that's why I speak with authority on people going through the same issues and not knowing each other because I'm kind of contacted a lot of these different groups and they just, they didn't know somebody was out there with a life preserver to give them, or a, you know, a map for, for, for the, what, what's ahead of them. So there, there's tons of it and there's, there's this stuff in every, every state. Um, I haven't uncovered them all. That's my goal is to, to keep a, a registry so that we can help. Um, and create create that network, if you will. So yes, there's a lot. And, and what's uh, in our cover on our uh, April 2019 issue is a group that was actually kind of spun off because of Lakeland Aero Club, to my knowledge. Um, Kevin Lacey from Airplane Repo, his, he started a club called Tango 31 Aero Club. And um, they, he, he actually started that after he had, he had consulted with Mike Z because he had stumbled upon this place when he was at Sun and Fun. And he's like, wow, you guys have this figured out. And that's exactly what the mentor network that I speak of is about. Hey, here's what you got to do, you know. And they, they sat down and, and they probably had several phone calls. And he's got a club that's producing aviators. It's, it's amazing. So there's a lot of it all over that's already going on. There's a lot of it, you know, being started. And so our hopes with our platform is to be able to help, help the people that are really the doers of the movement. Um, and to get notoriety, to connect them with others that are doing what they're doing already. And so, yes, it's all over the place. And that, that was my, one of the biggest surprises that I, that I received when I started doing the research on this was, it's everywhere. And I had no idea. I really didn't. I thought, well, maybe, you know, the, the Lakeland Aero Club's one in a million, but they've, they've, they've done it. They've done all the steps. They've found, you know, early on they were, they were blessed to be able to find you know, somebody to, to sponsor some of their stuff and, and you know, help them. Um, that's, that seems to be the big thing and, and hopefully with the platform as well we're getting notoriety into the bigger supporters in aviation that support this type of stuff. And there's a lot of that, you know, but, and the same thing with scholarships, there's tons of them, but we just have to educate, not just the aviation public, but, but outside of that to get, to get more people and that's the ultimate goal. So AV Nation right now is a 48 page full color magazine. Uh, and what it includes is there's several different types of stories. Uh, the, the one that that's probably you know usually the cover story type is something to do with young people, and, and a lot of times it's it's supplied, um, and, and we, we welcome uh, we welcome that all times. We 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 have priority for youth uh, submitted editorial and so you'll find stories of hey this is how I got my this is how I become an airline cap ha, captain to I'm interested in flying and now I'm flying sims and here's what I want to do after that um, mm -hmm. so it, it goes all over but a lot of it are people that have taken taken the jar started on the journey of either getting their license or becoming an engineer or a mechanic or you know something that's that we're all as an industry talking about so so you have a lot of lot of written um, bios, so to speak, from from uh, young young people, and then we have uh, MBAA, EAA, AOPA. They all supply stuff um, to talk about how you know that affects their part of 
they're part of the industry, you know, like business aviation or on the experimental side. Um, and then we have mentor groups, or what we call sometimes club updates, and that's the Aero Club, the Tango 31 Aero Club. I mean, people that are doing things, going, you know, flying across country, or just honestly just restoring something, and, and they want, they, they like to talk about. Um, that's, that's the kind of stuff we're featuring. Um, we, we're wide open. Um, we're looking at increasing pages as, as the need arises. The other side of that is it's completely funded by advertisers. So every ad that you see in that book pays to, to produce it, print it, and get it out into the hands of, of our younger people. And where can this be found? This can be found digitally at avnationusa.com. Um, or you can, and you can subscribe to the print version on there. So the print version is subscription. Um, you can find them at, at the major air shows. They're free of charge at major air shows. It's twenty dollars for a subscription for four issues for the year, uh, or the digital version is free online. Um, AvionationUSA.com or any of our social profiles will have links to that. Okay, everyone, that's our show for today. Thanks again for watching the Experimental Aircraft Channel. And if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now, uh, it's free to subscribe, and that little bell symbol for notifications of future videos. And if you could check us out on Facebook, we'll see you in the next one.